Today, we're talking about Artboard Studio. That's right, Artboard Studio. Artboard Studio is a new amazing design tool that allows designers to take their work and actually put it into templates and presentations and make them look awesome. Say goodbye to expensive software, say goodbye to smart objects, and say goodbye to the hours that it takes you to hunt them down and fit them all in and make them look right and compose everything. Uh-uh, this is gonna do it really, really easy, really, really quickly, and it's like amazing. That's all I have to say about it. Okay, let's dive right in and check out Artboard Studio. I'm here at artboard.studio, sweet domain, and you can sign up for early access by putting in your name and your email address down here. Once you do that and you receive access as like an early access tester, you can log in right here by pressing the login link. Once I do that, I am logged into the dashboard. That's right, it is a web application. It's fully web-based. You're not gonna have to download any platform and run it or install it, which is really, really nice. Um, quick tour of the dashboard, it is as simple as simple can be. You have the logo up here, you have uh, the ability to create a new project, um, you have your account settings and different integrations and plugins that I think they're gonna work with in the future. You can see it, it integrates with Figma and Twitter and MailChimp, Sketch and Photoshop and WordPress are coming soon, so that's amazing. It also connects with Dropbox and Google Drive. We don't wanna do that, we wanna just like stick right in here and start doing some stuff. So I'm gonna give you the kind of the basics by opening up this UI kind of like template or this mock-up that you have here and it has some general kind of like screens that are inserted there once you click into a project here's what you can see this is the new kind of project interface it it feels a lot like Photoshop where you have like the ability to go back and see projects or gallery or export some different settings here as well down the side though we have the ability to add items Add textures and backgrounds, stock photos, insert text somewhere if you want, add shapes, uh, find your upload. So it actually stores in the cloud a repository of your uploads, which is really, really nice, as well as readjusting the canvas size, importing files, and going back to original template items. We're gonna look at all of those. Over on the right-hand side, though, we have a layers panel, just like every other design software that's out there, where you can actually click on and check out the different pieces that are on your canvas. And when you click on, when you have nothing selected, you'll, you'll have canvas settings open here on the right-hand panel, so you can change the width and the background and the workspace. And you even have a quick export menu, which I really love. You don't have to go through the whole export process. You can just export it right there. But if you click on an item in the layers panel or on the canvas, all of a sudden it becomes contextual to the item you've just selected, right? So we can add some different layer effects to it. We can clone the layer and hide the layer, all the basic stuff, delete the layer, basic kind of design software things. We have object settings, like we can align our different elements. And then we have like the real magic, which, which is like we can place our design. If I click on that, it's gonna open up a separate canvas or kind of like the smart object that's already been built. So now you can see we have our two designs open there. And we have our elements selected here still on our main canvas. You can do everything, you know, with this. You can affect the, the X and Y positions, right? Your scale, you can rotate things. Again, you can do all of that here by like actually interacting with the object. You can rotate things, you can scale things down, right? But then you get into, into functions and commands that are very specific to creating mock-ups and presentations, which is like, do we want a reflection? You know, what do we want the light to look like? We have blending modes for those. Our main label, we can affect that. Main image, do we want to like multiply through? You can always press Command Z to undo something, right? So that's nice, we can go back to normal. We have a ground shadow, so that's really great. Um, we have basic commands, basic design tool commands similar to something like Photoshop, but I mean, that's not where the magic really happens. The magic really happens when we start uploading our work to this, right? So, so we can just head over and hit the upload button and that's gonna go to our computer where we can actually find which screen we wanna work with. I'm just gonna take this detail screen. Um, and it's gonna import it. You can see it actually doing its magic and importing here. So now I have it and I can just drag it in and it automatically sizes it. And when I come back to my main canvas, you can see I have it like locked into the design immediately. So now I have my phones in there. I can change them, I can scale them, I can rotate them and that's great. Um, 
how do I wanna use these in my project? I'm not really sure. Do I want both of them on like a completely blank background? Well, I can do that. I can come to my background. Maybe I just want a transparent background to place this somewhere in a design I'm working on. That's great. But the real power of Artboard Studio is your ability to actually um, insert different backgrounds, right? So let's do that. Let's add a textured background. Maybe we'll put it on wood. It's gonna offer me a bunch of predefined textures that I can put behind this. Now, do I want it to be a top-down view or do I want it to be a front view? I'm gonna go top-down because I'm not ready to get that crazy. So let's just take our kind of aged blue wood. Let's go plywood and we'll just drag that in. That's really, really easy to do. We're gonna head back to our projects. You can see our travel app is re-rendering. It's saved all the work that we've done there. Maybe we wanna create a brand new project for some sort of work that we've done. We can head into the templates. We can kind of break them down by either the top or front view templates or the perspective scenes, which is kind of nice. Let's go back to the perspective scenes. And uh, maybe we want something to display a poster that we've done. All I have to do is click on it and it opens up and it's completely ready for me to start editing. So we can upload another piece like this bear poster that I made and just pop that in and head back to our main canvas and it will re-render with our poster in the scene, which is really, really nice. If we wanted to add different pieces, we can just click right here on add new items and we can choose a different piece to kind of add to our our mock-up, right? So we maybe we'll drag it behind our model. Uh, so there's a different piece up there. And you'll notice the things that are actually editable have the smart symbol or kind of the editable icon on the layer. So if I just double click that, you can see there is our canvas and we can just look for my uploads and just drag that right into place. And when I click back, you can see it's gonna generate our, our work once we've built out our project that we like, all we have to do is press add to projects and that is going to kind of save our projects onto our desktop. Now I can click back to projects. I can see the model holding up the paper clip with the A3 papers added right there. You can do lots of cool stuff with this. Um, their pre-built templates are absolutely amazing. Like you have these bottles and pieces of fruit that you can move in. I've actually deleted the background out of this one so I could come in and add a textured background, maybe something with paper, something kind of cool. Um, and we could just put like a craft paper background there. So now we've dropped a craft paper background on it. That's really, really nice. What else can we put on it? You also have the ability to right click on most objects where you can edit them right there on the canvas. You can flip them and stack them how you want and do custom shadows and duplicate objects and edit objects. When if I roll over edit, I get a kind of fly out menu that has all the different pieces that I can edit, right? You can also see those in the layers panel by dropping it down. I can edit not only you know, the label, but I can also edit like the cap color and the top label. So those are really, really nice. Let's just click on cap color and we can change to maybe like a different color and come back and the whole thing has changed. Everything's like really editable, it's really, really nice. Well, that's it, that's Artboard Studio in a nutshell. I really love it and I can't recommend it enough. Again, this is not a sponsored video. This series is all about me finding design tools that are coming out and I find interesting, checking them out and giving you my honest recommendation and I can honestly recommend that you go sign up for early access and try this yourself. It's so worth it, Artboard Studio. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments. And also, if you like the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in seeing more Design Tool Tuesdays, hit that little bell notification icon so you know when the next one comes out. I hope you guys are having an amazing week and you're designing and you're making amazing things and you're using amazing tools to do it. I'll see you in the next one.